In this demonstration, we'll look at retrieving information from an unattached content database or the ability to recover data from a site or a site collection from an existing unattached content database. So let's go ahead and begin. So first thing I want to look at is within central administration. If we manage our content databases, here I can see I have my WSS content unattached content database. It shows it started, shows that it's ready. Now I can take that offline. I can configure it here, but what I want to do is I want to use PowerShell to do this. So I'm going to open up my management shell and in the management shell, I'm going to say dismount SP content database WSS content unattached. And it prompts me, am I sure I want to do that? Yes, I do. Once it's been done, I'll go back and I no longer see that database. With the database being unattached, however, what I can do now is I'm able to recover data from that database. This allows the ability of some um, granular types of, of recovery, of restoration. In order to do that again with PowerShell, what I need to do is I need to specify get SP content database. And I'm going to specify connect is unattached database. The database name. Well, database name is WSS content unattached. And I also need to provide database server. Well, in this case, my database server is SQL 4025. Dialonics.com. All right, now it shows that content database has now been attached, but it's been attached as an unattached database. This provides the ability now for me to be able to recover data from that unattached content database. When does this happen? And actually, I've seen this happen in several circumstances. The most common is when you're looking at an upgrade and you're taking your content databases, you're detaching them from an earlier edition, 2010 to 2013. And uh, they say, you know what, we're not going to use that content, that site collection, but there are some specific items within that or list, libraries, whatever, that we want to be able to, uh, to recover. In this case, we would be able to take the unattached content database, attach to it, and then recover the data utilizing PowerShell. 